Hey there. Welcome to Spirit Centered Business. You know, today's show is super, super special to me. I have, I invited back Jonathan and Elena Cavan, and I got one of my clients, uh, well, two of my clients, mom and a son. You're just going to love them, Carolyn and Andy Arnold. And we just jumped in and started having a conversation. So if it looks a little rough, well, that's what happened. We were just having such a good time. And so you guys get to hear the testimony of what God did through lie busting in their lives and in their business. And um, we just had a great time. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. Well, you guys, I hope that um, we can just be casual and just kind of share this testimony because God has just been so good and just so amazing. And Carolyn, you know that I'm just blown away by the break breakthrough that you guys have gotten and all of the mm -hmm. amazing things, you know, so I want you to tell um, Jonathan and Elena and um, Jonathan and Elena, I want you guys to ask questions and lead this and hopefully you can use this um, for in your group as well. It doesn't need to be about me. It's about... <laughs> It's about, about God, you know, it's about, it's about what he does, but um, you know what I mean? It's just, I want to just connect you guys and you guys have the conversation if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. But I just want to compliment you on your, um, uh, on, on the room that you're in. Every I time know. I see you, you're in a new apartment. You're in a new <laughs> I love that room. Can we come and sit in your room, Berlin? I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> is this what is this what it really looks like now that's what i said on the last time i'm like oh i like your house i do too <laughs> i like this one you yeah. this, is, this is where we have tribe talk for spirit center business <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah it's nice well it's really really good to meet you and god is doing so much at the moment he always and, does you know i think we <laughs> right up front we we put him in the middle because we're getting so many stories from so many places about what he's doing. And it's just so encouraging. Yeah. It's really yeah. encouraging. And I know that, um, you know, Berlin, you had this, uh, this uh, broadcast last night, but we also did one on the Experience Live Buses Facebook group. And Karen and Andy, I encourage you to watch. There is, we call it um, Betty and Jean, part one and part two. So there's a lovely lady called Betty with gray hair and she's just glowing because she, <laughs> she received her very first live bust and she yeah. had to lie down afterwards and she was tingling and buzzing through her whole body right. for hours afterwards. And all of her friends have said, what's happened to you? And oh, so she's taking them. So we interviewed her. So you could watch that interview. I think that would be an encouragement. And then would, that was a week <laughs> ago. And then last night we interviewed the lady who live busted her, a lady called Jean Marrow from New York. And she's only joined us, I think, last October or November. Um, but already she's learned how to lie a bus. She's, she's done the course and, and she's now setting these people free. So it's just right. wonderful to hear these stories. Awesome. And, uh, I'd like to kick off by saying, uh, just asking you, Andy and Karen, uh, Karen how did you meet, how do you know um, Berlin? Well, it, I... I'm, I met her first, Ange, and mm -hmm. I I knew Berlin from um, Kingdom Talks when she was a co-host on Kingdom Talks, mm -hmm. and then I started to follow her and um, like Spirit Center Business, and then she offered, she did an offer, and I think it was a freebie, and I took her up on the freebie, and then I'm like, Oh, I want to buy that package of, you know, four plus one of, you know, and I asked the Lord, what do you want me to do? And he said, he said, go for activation. And so I knew that I was supposed to do that. So I, I bought a package and um, it, well, I had to get Andy to be a part, you know, and get live busted. My husband is live busted. <laughs> It's like unbelievable. And then, you know, then Berlin, you know, she's my, our business coach 
and we want to yeah, do more amazing. with her with that. And so we've, we're just developing this great relationship in the midst of all, all of us getting free. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Ka Carolyn, tell um, these guys what, what, you were, what it was like before the very first lie bust when we took that stuff away and Jesus set you free. And then you, you were like off the charts excited this is the that is the testimonial that i actually have on the page you do i was gonna <laughs> say you have that one on film and i'm just like yeah. <laughs> yes i mean i was like glowing i was just like three feet off the ground because not only was the freedom that you felt but the revelation and the scales come off and then all of a sudden it's like oh my goodness i'm unlimited you know but the cool thing about it is like one of my favorite parts was when father gives you a present at the end and and then taking that present and then walking that out day after day and taking that in my prayer time when I go when I have my really cool God time it's when I walk in the morning and then I would take that present that father gave and what he spoke to me and unwrap it further and unwrap it further and I saw my life change with the freedom that I got through the lie bus, but then to be able to take that gift and unwrap it and have it be um, manifesting in my life through main ways was our business. And, and just, and then also my, my time with God. I mean, it was, I have to say something. When I was listening to you, um, when you did your interview, you were talking about the hoodwink and that keeps you from seeing. And so I'm like, oh my goodness. But I remember when we first did the first live bus, there was Masonic stuff mm. and we broke it, you know, we, and, and so, yeah. And from that time, my being able to see has grown so exponentially Lie bust after lie bust after lie bust. I have been able to take and and utilize it and see things then manifest in the natural in, in bigger ways, mostly through our business. Oh well, hey Andy, I have to ask you, how, what about what about in the family? Is your mum? Have you got a new mum? I uh, <laughs> uh, yes, because uh, um, my dad has been a uh, we father. So, um, so yeah, he's a remodeler and he had to yeah. get in there on that live bus. But do you notice the difference in me since I've been going through live bus? Mm -hmm. Do you? I do. Oh, am I nicer? No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Andy, we, we like people who are very honest. So now you can tell everyone who's watching what you noticed about your mom. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. Um, take about, uh, take about, uh, uh, forgot. Was I again? What, what do you notice in me different because of the lie bus I've been going through? Do you notice any changes in me? Mm -hmm. Do you want to share? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm so happy. Are you oh, happy? It's happy. Well, happy is, I mean, hey, that's as good as yeah. get happy, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, well no, I am, when, um, when you're married, in, in, when we're, Andy, we have this saying in England, happy wife, happy life. Uh -huh. So my wife is happy, I'm happy. But yeah. I guess, you're, I don't know, but you're, I don't, maybe you're not married. So I guess for you, it would be happy mother, happy life. Yeah. Right? Yes. So. yes, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. So um, I am, he was the one that was stretching me so much because it's like, mom, let's do this. Mom, let's do that. And I knew I had to take and implement that through our business, through his artwork and whatnot. So now I'm like, Andy, we're going to do this. Andy, we're going to do that because mom's not afraid anymore to step out and to do something, even if it doesn't work, Of you know, and it's like, well, let's, let's just try it again. Let's just try it again. We're going to get this thing. And it all, it's business wise. Because I'm like, I've got a vision. He's got a vision. We see where we want to go. And now it's implementing it. And so now I'm like, okay, Andy, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start a group. 
And in this group, we're going to do this. Whereas before I'm like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to do something, but uh, now it, it's boldness and, you know, straightforward yeah. ahead. And we're linked in here together. So we're going together. We're stretching each other oh. now. <laughs> Can I share what I saw in him after his first live bust? May, may I do that? When they were just finishing up, because I sat in on it too. When he was just finishing up, it, I saw in the spirit, I saw Andy's spirit and how it had just enlarged. Andy has a huge spirit. I do. But you do. But after the, the live bus, like the Hulk, right? It was just bigger. And what I had noticed with you after that live bus and his spirit getting bigger. We are, the Lord has opened up for us in January to do more teaching classes. So we're teaching art classes and we do that on Facebook lives and exactly. in our group. Mm -hmm. And um, he has so wrapped around that teaching that he's coming in such confidence and boldness and, and mm -hmm. testimony and he owns it. He's not afraid. That's the biggest that's the biggest thing that you talked about was, I'm not going to steal your thunder. What was the biggest thing you talked about when you told me yesterday on how you got set free of? I set free, um, I've been set free from all the fears. I've been set free from all the lies. I've been set free from stuttering body nails. And so I can able to not be, because I give myself permission to, um, I give, I give myself uh, permission to you can't speak speak around people. There's no limits. There's nothing to be there's nothing to be af afraid of. To so speak therefore. And so I did. I, and I it's more it. and more and more. Yes. I'm tingling. My whole head is tingling. <laughs> and that happens when I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And Carolyn, I don't mean this literally, but it's kind of move over, <laughs> Mum. I knew both have shown up. Yeah. Because what he has inside of him is going to blossom and you're, he's going to be the main event and you're there to support. <laughs> yes, I, that's right. That's exactly yeah. right. And, and I, you know, so you haven't, gonna help me. <laughs> what you haven't, yeah. what you haven't, what you haven't you shared yet, which I, I'm really interested. I've been thinking, I've been asking myself this question for the last 10 minutes. And I'm sure everyone who's watching is, what is your business? Right. Would you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, let me share. My business called Andy's Known Women's Art is also my website and is also my Facebook page and my and my Instagram. So Andy's No Limits Art.com. Yes. And what what do you like to tell people? What is what do you share about living with no limits? Just go be yourself, like um just go be you. Um uh, just be real. Live, like, live with. Yes, I said live with no minutes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you paint. Yes, you're I do. You're a painter. You're an artist. Yeah, I am an artist. Part, artist, part teacher. We're going to have a look at your website. What is it? Andy's No Limit Art. Uh, yes. No Limits Art. Yes. yes. No Limits Art. Dot com. It's on my, yes, is on, is the name of my website. It's the name of my Facebook page. Mm-hmm. So A N D Y A N D Y S Andy's No Limits Art. You need an S after the T. Okay, while you're pulling that up, I just want to share a little bit of when Carolyn came to me. Um, I took a look at Andy's stuff and, and he had, um, you know, Andy CEO and he had Andy's chairs and he, he paints mm -hmm. chairs and these beautiful artwork and all of, you know, t-shirts and mugs and all of this stuff that you're going to see on that website. But when Carolyn came to me, she was feeling a little bit lost mm -hmm. because she was mom to Andy. She didn't <laughs> have her own personality even though she has her own business too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gilded carriage right. art yes right Gild, gilded gilded carriage art art yes right Back right but carolyn after your first fly bus though that was right before christmas 
And once you realize that freedom, that you could just be you and you didn't need to just ha only have the label of Andy's mom, you mm -hmm. got a commission, didn't you? I did. Right after that. To I be, did. To do those Christmas cards. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's just amazing how God works when he calls us to be us. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, this is this is really amazing because I've just finished a commission with my son. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And, and yeah. It's, it's the first commission that we've actually done together. And wow. it's so beautiful because he's just gone to Central St. Martin's Art School in London. Oh, wow. Wow. What, okay. What was your commission? What did you do? I'm very well, interested. Yeah, so it's going to go live on the 11th, Pretty so sure. we sure. can, no. Oh, okay, okay. But, I'll, but I'll watch. You'll, the 11th is the day that this is going to air. Yeah, you so you'll, for the audience, it's the 11th today. <coughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So we, can, ah, we, can, um, we can provide, we can provide the links, but um, yeah, we can talk about that later, because I just really <laughs> wanted to ask you a, a few questions about um, your journey from fear and feeling held back to mm -hmm. this um, state of no limits. Yes. So what was the thing that God removed so that you could change states or change your positions? Because first of all, it sounds like you started like you were in a place where you were not taking action and then something happened and then you're in a different place and you are taking action because you're mm -hmm. not being held by, back by belief. So what happened? Uh, what happened to me? What happened to me? Um, I um, was... Um, what, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead. If, if you need my help with anything, you just say my help me. Otherwise, go for it, okay? Okay. What's the difference between before your lie bust and after? Mm. That, you're, that you're living with no limits. Let's try after. Okay. After my lie bust. Um, I've been set, um, uh, whenever I look at myself in, in the mirror, um, it's like way after my, way, uh, way, way after my, my, uh, life bust, um, I can see myself in a place of, of, of authority and passion and joy and love because the more love I have, the less fear I have lost because the more love I attain, the less fear, the less and uh, the less fear, um, because fear can uh, penetrate upon the power of love. Because I told Jesus, I told him, I I want to rest in the realm of of love. The more love I attain, the less fear I don't have anymore. Well, you know, you yeah. know, Andy, there's a verse in the Bible that says perfect love casts out all fear. Uh -huh. so yes, that's you, correct. You've nailed it. Fear and love yeah. are opposites. So it, the more fear you have, the less love you can experience. Mm -hmm. The less fear you have, the more love. You can get from God, yes. You know, I remember you told me when you were finished with your live bus, he said, I feel like a lion that's roaring. <laughs> well, that's my spirit. Yes, I know that's your spirit. It got, oh. it got bigger and unblocked. Can we have a yeah. roar? Can we, can we roar right now? Can we all do it together? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it after three. You can join me if you want. So one, <laughs> two, three. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my spirit. That's, that's right, baby. That's my spirit. <laughs> You're all day. Okay. <laughs> no limits, right? No, no limits. Oh boy, you're having an effect on me, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, bro. <laughs> How about you, Carolyn? What what is it? What was removed that enabled you to shift positions? Oh my goodness! Probably the biggest thing was fear. Mm -hmm. And yeah, fear, fear, fear of a, mm, a specific mm. thing, like fear of a specific thing, or fear. Um, fear. Oh, I got set free of so many fears. Um, 
fear of moving forward. You know, you, you think you, we've had this business now. We just stepped in our fourth year mm-hmm. and you think you're doing fine. You're doing fine. But un, all of a sudden you're in this position in, in a lie bust and Holy Spirit is releasing this. And I'm going, oh, my gosh, I'm afraid of moving forward. Oh, my gosh, I'm afraid of getting older. Oh, my gosh. Well, you just didn't realize and then, did you want to say something? That was a spirit. It's not a, it's not a human being. It's a spirit of fear. It's a spirit. Yes, it, it is. And that, that thing got nailed, didn't it? Because, because I know because in James, not in James, but it says that it's from second, it's from second Timothy 1, 7. It says, for God has not given you a spirit of fear. We give you a love, power, and a sound mind. So it means being set free from fear is like being free from yourself, being free, <laughs> just being free. Or let's say I'm, a, let's say I am, uh, let's say I'm, let's say I'm, I'm in this place that, um, just, uh, just, <clears throat> just like I said, the more love I attain, the less fear I, I expected. That's from my mom. Well, you know what? You're exactly right, because I know, thank you for bringing that up, because Mm -hmm. I noticed my ability to love and roll with things instead of getting an offense at something, where things would, would have faith in God. Yeah, where things would, would really get to me, it would just roll off of me. That is a good point, Andy. Mm -hmm. With the less fear, there was more love. I would have more compassion. I could look at situations, even like in the world we're living in now with all the craziness, I could look with compassion instead of say maybe a judgment based on off of a fear. And And seeking that, can I just say that being set free of fear and walking more in love has, has, you're just reading my mail <laughs> has enabled me to walk. So seeking father's face and, and my ascensions have been so much easier to just step right in and go into places in father and, and receive the endowments that he's had for me, that he told me that during my live bus sessions and just, just enjoy this beautiful, colorful, music-filled, dance-filled journey that before was more black and white, you know? This is, it's just getting better and better. That's why I had to go and sign up for what you were offering <laughs> because I'm like, I've got to do more of this. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, I did, and you too. And I did want some more videos for, uh, from his, uh, from Miss Berlin because I want to, um, because because I know I've been set free, but I want to be set free some more. The more freedom I get, the less Absolutely. thing I can have. So, Miss Burden, I want to do some more, some um, get my get my uh, <laughs> my, my stuff together. I had to do um, that with you. You're getting a little Absolutely. choked up there, but I would be honored. I know I'm getting choked up. My gosh, Andy, you blow me away. But yes. yeah, every time, you know, um, Carolyn has had a series of live us and every time it's something new and different and it's always a revelation like, oh, I didn't know that was there. And then we get rid of that. You know, there's been, there was a lot of trauma and we started out with some, mm-hmm. you know, pretty dark, ugly stuff, getting rid of it. And then you're able to receive some just amazing joy and, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a journey for me too. And so I'm honored, really, really honored to be able to walk it with you guys. So of course, thank you. and Thanks. also, if you guys didn't hear Jonathan and Elaine, if you didn't hear, I also lie busted um, Andy's father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So why don't <laughs> yeah. you, if yeah. you're allowed to spill the beans on what he got trans- spill the beans. transformed. Oh. <laughs> well, I got something too. From okay. about that, yes. Okay, my dad was a smoker, and he's been set free from smoking. That's huge. And he then can. he's been set free from skin cancer. That's the process, but we believe that that's going to happen and get to the root of that. But what's really cool when okay. he got done, he couldn't talk for a while. So the next day, he told me, "I 
I was very careful on say how to go because it would be like he, you know, it's like he would say, "Well, this is what happened," but he said, "Carolyn, I just sobbed like a baby. I just sobbed." And when I heard that, I'm like, "Oh, thank you. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That was so healing." And that's all he told me. But, <laughs> but being his wife, I can say I have noticed some things about a softness in him. And more relaxed, and um, that, and that's huge. Just, just peace, peace. And that was after the first one. Mm -hmm. Question, Carolyn: Did you invite him to have a lie bust, or did you push him to have a lie bust? Oh, a little of both, to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay, no, so actually, I was so excited about my results. I couldn't, because I'm a talker, I couldn't keep it to myself. I'm like, Bill, oh my gosh, you know, this and that. And he would listen. He was soaking it up. I know his heart. I know his spirit. He soaks it all up, even though it may be hard for him to verbalize it out. But he kept saying, I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm like, okay. Yeah, and I might maybe. have to remind him a little, but he did. And he was so excited. And I know he's going to do it again. Do you want to hear what happened? No, oh, no. Okay. The day after he had his lie bust, he got laid off from his job. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But what that opened up for him was an opportunity to step out on his own, to do what he loves to do. He stepped into doing remodeling on his own, remodeling houses on his own. That is, it's what causes his heart to come alive. He wasn't doing that in the job before. He has his lie bust. Boom, loses his job and now it's off on his own doing what he That's loves and jobs are coming in, you know? He's and so, he, yeah, he's a free man. Did you hear that? He's a free, he's man. a free man. So that's what happened to you as well. It sounds like his blocks were removed so he could step into his destiny. Your mm -hmm. blocks were removed so he, <clears throat> you could step into yours. It's interesting because I live busted a lady yesterday whose husband books the sessions for her. And she's like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm here because I'm keeping the peace in my marriage. And my husband <laughs> <laughs> sent me here. So I said to her, so, well, let's have a chat about this. Because Livebusters has two qualifiers. You have to be hungry. And you have to believe that you're a spiritual person or a spirit being. Are you hungry? And she's like, and she was like, well, to be honest with you, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, and, and no one's ever said it so honestly to me before and so but I knew Holy Spirit was there I could feel the Holy Spirit and so we had a little conversation where I was just sharing with her that actually lie busting isn't about this thing that happens outside of ourselves it's actually about the Holy Spirit come and helping us to connect within ourselves to ourselves so mm -hmm. that we are then able to connect with God and connect with others because there's no connection to God and to others if we're not yet connected within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I invited her then to experience a deeper connection of God within her, but to herself. And we, we ended up lie busting the nothing that came up and she had a beautiful and powerful oh, wow. encounter. So then... I, um, I had another man that I lie busted last week. And um, I think I can share this because this is public now. And um, so I just got this text from my friend in Bethel in Redding, California. It won't take a second, Berlin. She said, um, so my friend's in Washington. She just went down to Bethel in California. She said, hey, she said, I'm excited to share something with you. We walked in last night and mom and dad were just back from a Bethel service. I think their prophetic service is now held at Twin View. Anyway, Ben Armstrong is one of the pastors and pastored the Cascade Theater Bethel Church when I was here last year. He and my mom have been good friends for a while. Guess what his entire message was about? The lie bust you recently did with and for him. He actually used the term lie bust, but didn't refer to you and Jonathan directly or lie busters, you know, dot global. He said it was a life changing experience and he was surprised he still had stuff to deal with. I guess his wife made him get one. 
His whole point was that continual revelation from Holy Spirit is key for growth and freedom. Afterward, my mom talked to him and said she knew who had performed the lie bust. And by the way, I haven't told anybody that you were doing that. And she asked for a name and Ben said, oh, Helen something from the UK. And my mom said, Elena Cavern. He said, oh yeah. So here we have an experience of a wife gently giving her husband a little encouragement to get alive. <laughs> And he had a powerful revelation. Isn't that amazing? That's so wonderful. Had, I mean, we can't always condone that people push each other into a lie busts, but sometimes it's just that gentle Holy Spirit nudge. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is another way that it happens. There is another way. And it could just be that Carolyn got upgraded and uh, your husband thought, my wife's just been upgraded. What's happened to her? I <laughs> want some of that. Yeah, I'm getting left <laughs> yes. I want upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, <laughs> it, it's so good. It's so, so good to share this. And at this point, I would just like to uh, recognize you, Berlin, because I see the tears in your eyes as you yeah. listen to the stories. And that to me is a sign of deep, deep um, uh, passion, compassion, but also calling that mm -hmm. you know, I want to validate you in your calling to unlock mm -hmm. people, particularly in the area of business. Yes. Because in the same way, Karen and Andy, that you needed a bit of an upgrade to transition, well, so did we. You know, mm -hmm. We've got three income streams, two of them are on lockdown. So <laughs> Livebusters is the only other one. And it was kind of a hobby or a ministry, um, but suddenly the other two have gone. We had to kind of wake up to what we were doing and, and take some action that demanded a lot of courage from me. And yeah. Berlin was really instrumental. And, and Berlin so. was instrumental in that. So Berlin, again, I just want to say, you know, you're exactly in the right place. Yeah. Spirit-centered business to unlock people mm -hmm. um, in, in their businesses, in the personal life of their businesses. And it, it's so good that actually mm -hmm. you are the point person in all of this. Yes, yeah. she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to say that, um, Elena, when you're talking about getting yourself um, aligned before you can align with others, I mean, that was the whole premise. When I started Spirit Centered Business in 2014, it was about the three-way alignment, aligning your head and your heart. And, and that comes from my story because I was always a head girl. I never, never even connected to my emotions or heart or anything. And you guys have been working with me through that too. But we have to have that internal connection and alignment and then vertical alignment with God and his plan for you. And then horizontal alignment with how the spirit realm really works, how the universe really works so that you can connect to others and connect to your destiny in a bigger and better way. So it's that whole alignment piece that it, spirit centered business is all about and so i need to really thank you so much for this tool of live busters because i'm able to get my clients so much more aligned head heart with mm -hmm. god and with others it, i i never would have been able to do that and i i'm i've got a lot of training under my belt as far as life coaching you know and business coaching and inner healing and all of this stuff but live mm -hmm. is the one tool that i found that can really make a breakthrough and it's not about me you know it's about just holy spirit i never know what's going to come out when we start a live us with my peeps and sometimes no, Nobody does. <laughs> I know. And, and, you know, even Carolyn, you know, I mean, we're like, whoa, where'd that come from? You know? <laughs> and, and I mean, okay. Oh, the, talk about weird things. Carolyn, you had something um, like you were, you were picking something out of. of oh, chair. yeah. Remember that? I, I had a dream. Oh, yeah. Are we going weird now? Are we going yeah. weird? <laughs> we're going weird we're going weird, we're weird, now. <laughs> we're going weird. Okay. So i had a dream i asked the lord okay my next live bust is coming up what do you want to talk about what what should we address and i have this dream that i'm trying to pull a hair out of my chin and i'm like what is that so i sit down with berlin and i'm going well she's like well where 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 do we want to go off to and, and that dream just popped up i said berlin i just keep seeing this dream i had that I got this hair right here and I'm trying to pull it and trying to 
pull it, pull it. And it comes, you know, keeps coming out, keeps coming out and getting longer and longer and pulling it out and come to find out it was a root of the fear of getting old and missing out on stuff. Cause I turned 63 and I say I'm eternally 30 mm -hmm. because of how Jesus healed me some years ago and, you know, at a youth camp. And so I'm like 30. Um, anyway, so I had a fear, a deep fear of getting older and missing out on stuff. And I'm like, well, you know, and it just didn't set right with the things that God had put in my heart that he wanted me to do and, and what the world says about getting older. So we dealt with it. And yeah. I can honestly say that does not bother me anymore. I happily get my social security, even though it's hard for me to say that. <laughs> Cause I can't believe I can get it. <laughs> Karen, and I hate that you. was a big deal. That was a really big yeah. deal. And, and Holy spirit knew it was there so much that he gave me a dream that I was to address with Berlin. And, and we, we, we did that. Otherwise I, you guys, I never would have done it. Never would have touched that subject. Mm. Yeah. Well, I hear you. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pushing 60 next year, but I feel like I'm just beginning, you know, and all the fun is to come. Yes, exactly. I might be a late developer, but it's just so exciting. <laughs> you know, when you get that fire and you get cleaned out and, the st and yeah. it starts to flow, it's yeah. Like, all right. Yep. Game on. I yeah. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And Andy, you had something regarding your DNA too. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell that story? Okay. Uh, it was back in 2017. I was in bed. Yeah, I think it was a little later than that, but I know where you're going with it, and it's profound. Yeah. Um, and I was just, I think I was in sleep. My body was asleep. It, in my uh, in my spirit, um, had a uh, no. I had a dream. Yes, I had a dream that I felt the hand of God uh, came to my back. It was uh, it was not just going to my spine, but it's passed to my spine. It's like a like um. I don't want to say this, but, but it's kind of like a a, um, a snake. Well, he was mo moving. He was moving in you, in your back. Yeah. And, to, and twirl. Yes. yes. And yes. And so right. when I, so 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 when I was activated, um, <laughs> um, I saw my DNA. I uh, again, again, um, I'm saying I'm in you, and you're in me. And, and again, my eyes was open, and I saw my spirit. My spirit was there and my body was still asleep. So I see my new DNA in heaven. It's gold, pure gold. Um, it has gold, it has uh, uh, gold on it, uh, turquoise, and, and I knew, and I knew it was Father's DNA. And, and I thought the priest, make okay, hang on, hang on just a second. Let's go back a little bit. So what you said was Jesus, put his hand in your back and he healed your DNA, right? That's what you told me. And I, then I not say that I did. Yeah. Well, did you? Okay. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> yeah, I saw a father's DNA and mine, but his, um, cause, um, it says I'm co, I'm co, I'm co, I was, uh, I was co, Crucify with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, it's Christ who lives in me. So that's my last scripture. It is. So, and so, um, so again, he took my old being and he put and he nailed it to the cross. And, no. um, and so I was activated and I would see his DNA is my DNA. His words are no, my words is his words. His thoughts are my thoughts. His life is life. So, so, uh, so, so when I am activated, which means um, that I receive his DNA, it went like this, swifty. It came, it came swifty to my back, like that. And uh, he's doing like heavy yard on my spine. So he's he's straight it out, and and again. Berlin, his hands were exactly 
my hands. We are uh, flanking each other. So it means, uh, let's say uh, my hand is small, but his hand was big, like very big. And so it was, he's getting his life into it, life. And he's getting his sound, his frequency. And wherever I go, I take his very DNA to the earth. And wow. boom, I was awakened by Jesus himself. You're a very special young man. Yeah, do you Thank know, you. it's interesting because I, Jesus has done a similar thing with me in that he's redeemed my bloodline and my ancestors were metallurgists mm -hmm. and they worked with gold. And I can feel in my belly as you speak and you talk about the gold mm -hmm. DNA, my gold mm -hmm. is DNA as well. And I can feel the mm -hmm. resonance down here as you see mm -hmm. in a wow. very profound and powerful way, Andy. Yes. I can yeah. feel what you're saying and it is awesome. yes. true. Because well, you see that frequency wherever you go mm -hmm. and, um, and it is empowering. Mm -hmm. You release power, you empower others. And they're yes. drawn to that because it's the difference between, um, it's, um, it's not control. So it's like the difference between a conductor's wand and he's conducting an orchestra and he's empowering everybody to make their own music as opposed to a magician who has a wand who's exerting control. Oh, that's good. You see? And mm -hmm. so it's like your the power, reason. yes, the power <clears throat> that's coming out of you is empowering not over powering yeah that's just amazing and one of the things about that has always resonated through his work and his his heart when he whether he would paint a chair or do a canvas painting or whatever was that no cards but well okay yes that's right but what you say about that is because i have been healed what jesus has done for me Everyone who sits in this chair will be healed. Everyone who looks at this painting will be healed. <clears throat> the, it, it's what he has in him. He knows, are, he knows. I, I'm sorry, are healed. That he knows that he knows it's going into your artwork. Mm -hmm. And yes. that people can experience that frequency for themselves. Yes. Just like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So, yes. So oh, oh, sorry, uh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Go, go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Jesus gave me a mandate. It's saying, it's from Luke 19. It says, Behold, I give you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So, so, uh, so, which means I have the same power what, what Jesus has. I have the same power I can heal the sick, raise the dead. I cast out devils. That's my mandate, and I do that. And I um and I do that through my work. And whatever who sits in the show will be healed. Let's say I take uh take the chair in the street. Hey, sit sit uh, sit sit in this, and you let go. The blind see, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. We need to take some chairs to the streets. Then is right because <laughs> whatever who sits in the chair is healed. He done it for me. He would do it for you. Yeah. Do you know that's so interesting because um, I heard about a lady in the UK here who was in the Dark Kingdom, and she sells chairs for something like thirty thousand pounds with mm. the same thing. Like if you know sit, that. if you sit in the chair, then stuff happens. Yeah. Wow. So I had a client come and see me in because I run a residential detox retreat company and I had a client come and see me and she had been to this other place and she was just telling me about how this woman was really trying to coerce her to buy her special chair. Mm -hmm. And you know what comes to mind Andy is that for every reel there's always a counterfeit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometimes <laughs> When we see that there's a counterfeit, we know there is a real. And when we know there's a real, there's kind of... So I just wanted to offer that up to you, that, that there's a precedence for this. But mm -hmm. this needs to come from the kingdom of light into the kingdom of light, rather than just pertaining in the kingdom of darkness. 
That yeah. is yeah. Can awesome. I show Thank you for sharing here? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to show, I'm going to share my screen for, um, on his website or some of these chairs. Can you see them? Yeah. Can you see them uh, now? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. this yeah. is yeah. Andy there and um, some of his Hell yeah. artwork. Yeah. Wow. So some of it's his very work. Van Gogh-like, Andy. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. I think one of the neatest chairs that he has done is is that one is the peacock chair. It, well, yeah, but the the sacrifice chairs right here for our disabled for the healing of our disabled veterans from it, from from uh, from uh, yes. PTSD yes and whatever PTSD. else because that these chairs these sacrifice chairs right here mm -hmm. I remember the day it was about. Yes. Three years ago, Andy mm -hmm. came running downstairs and he said, Mom, Mom, I want to do this. Jesus just told me I have to do a chair and it's going to be called a sacrifice chair. And so I did. And it's a sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for the sacrifice, for the healing for the of healing. the sacrifice of our soldiers. Yeah. And he said, this is what it looks like. And so I helped him lay it out mm -hmm. onto what it looks like. And it's, um, it's a very powerful chair, very powerful. Amazing. And this one right here on the left-hand side where you see Andy's. This one? Yes, uh -huh. that yes. one. Uh -huh. We put that up for sale. That's yeah. available. And if you look on the seat, you'll see the red from the stripes come down as blood on the seat. That's Jesus's oh, blood. That's his blood. And on the front, it says sacrifice. But on the back, it says by his stripes, you, you are, are healed. You are healed. You are healed. And that's everything about this chair Jesus designed mm -hmm. and Andy yeah. brought it forward. I did. I just, I love this chair. Yeah, it's powerful. I, so, uh, I'm sorry. That chair is from, expired from Isaiah 53, 5. It says, it says from the prophet Isaiah, it says, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was pierced for our for our for our iniquities, the punishment for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes you are healed. I am healed. And he's saying, so whenever I sit in this chair, I will be healed. I I will be healed if there's sickness. I'll be healed if there's death. He brought life. He brought life and more and uh, and abundantly. So I'm so honored. I love that chair because right now that that's what. And that's from the big garage. So yeah. um, I was wondering, I'll get that from, but uh, my goal is to take that chair to Donald J. Trump, but he's not in office anymore. Yeah, but he's still around. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but there's more chairs yeah. that we can do in, yeah, a, in the future. But anyway, yeah, so we've got many, many pieces out and there. And so, um, but you like to do galaxies too. Don't I do, you? yes, because I, I okay, it's whatever I see in that sky, uh, whatever I see, I paste them to the to the chair. And the best chair that I I really love, Burden, is is uh that it, one right? It's actually right there. Really? Oh no, no, no. Gosh, I can't tell no. which one you're pointing yes. to. It's, it's the one that the CEO right there, the shirt this you have one. on right now. This one. That yes. one. That one. <laughs> no. Okay. Now this chair, guys, is called the Tree of Life chair. Mm. It's called the Tree of Life. On it says it's going up to the galaxy, coming down the Garden of Eden, of the Garden of the Lord, and this is where your heart is. Your heart is Eden. So, so, so it says. I know it. I know because um, it's, it's cool. awesome, Andy. It's awesome. It's awesome because that's <laughs> why it's called the the Tree of Life chair. So I want to. Do You've done a of few that. of those too. I do. Yeah, they're they're mm -hmm. awesome. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And who makes the chairs for you? Where do you get the chairs from? Because well, the chairs. Oh, um, here, chairs here. Uh, can I share that one? May I share that one? Okay, you can share, and then I'll share if I need to. Okay, sure. Um, so I got this chair from from my mom, but <laughs> I know, but she gave me this chair. Well, I go out on Facebook Marketplace and buy them. And sometimes people donate them because we know we're looking for certain chairs. Yes, yes. I was trying to say that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Facebook, Marketplace. So she gives them. 
I do because yeah. I'm a master sander because I always say that every every uh, on TV. So yeah, you do the sanding, the priming, and we talk about the design and how to implement it. And sometimes I have to help you with the design because it's pretty. Yeah. Uh, it's, you get a vision like the eye of God painting right there. Yeah. Mom, I need to do the eye of God. I'm like, oh no, really? Yes, he told me I'm supposed to. Okay, uh, now this one it says, uh, click on the picture to watch as the local TV news story goes national. So that's me on uh, when I was in. That was two years ago. That was in two years ago when I was in Little Rock. So you can, so you can even <laughs> click that. It's amazing. We're I'm, waiting for it. another news station is waiting for just the right time. Yeah. The news anchor has gotten to be a friend of ours. So he's waiting for just the right time to come and film Andy about what he's doing. Because we've got so much going on. And what he's doing, <laughs> and he's doing right now. And what he's doing right now. Oh, so. I'm doing nothing right now. <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> I've been Andy. <laughs> Well, well, we'll make sure that we put the link so that people can go and watch this because I'm not sure that I, I don't, you know, I haven't watched it or anything. I'm not sure how long it is or anything. Um, it was amazing. Okay. Wow. It's amazing timing because the day that this goes out is the day that um, the work that Nathan and I have done is, is being published. And I have a feeling that ours is going national as well. Uh, you're awesome. Yes. Yes. Awesome. I'm just feeling the vibe. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I know. There's something great yeah. about that. Well, I, I, I just want to sp spend a moment speaking to the viewers, right? Mm -hmm. What yes. God has done in this young man is absolutely extraordinary. And he has no limits. And That's right. he is just going to blossom and blossom and blossom. Now in England, we have this secret painter called Banksy. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he, he's, he goes around, he does little drawings on the side of people's houses. Um, but he's so, and he's anonymous, no one knows who he is. Yeah. But then people go and cut out the bricks and they'll sell it for like $2 million. $2 million. Um, <laughs> but he, yeah. didn't start, he didn't start that way. So um, what, I, what I just want to say is this, if you're watching this, you have the opportunity to get a piece of Andy's art now, <laughs> because they're going to be collectible <laughs> items. You know what happens with collectible art; it just increases in value. So That's it's going right. to be much easier for you to grab one of these pieces now. Yeah. <laughs> um, no wonder I loaded up the Etsy shop. <laughs> you know what the people say? Is saying. I need money, and I need it now, <laughs> so I can go buy your stuff. But okay, let's let him talk. All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Boom. Um, you guys no, are I'm, I'm good. Oh good. my gosh! But we thank okay. you very so, much. Yes, thank one, you. One other story I want you guys to tell that you were invited to be a witness for the South Dakota hearing and just tell us the story because that was after a lie bust and it was like one of the results mm -hmm. right can so i share yeah okay we have a connection that um absolutely loves andy and is um opening up doors so we had the opportunity we had um the governor's assistant from south dakota um contact us about andy giving his testimony on why his life is valuable having been born with Down syndrome. And the governor, um, Governor Christy Noam of South Dakota was um, putting a bill together to protect life of the unborn who have Down syndrome. And so Andy was asked to give testimony. And- um, In the womb. Yes. And so it was at the house and what had happened at the very last minute is they decided not to do Zoom calls of which we were gonna to have to zoom because of weather. And that kept it, we had a snowstorm here, we couldn't fly out. And so then they decided at the last minute, no zoom calls, but it was in the house. Now it's going to the Senate. And so now, now we have another opportunity, but another, a cool thing is our, our connection had such foresight that he asked Andy if he would send a piece, a certain piece of artwork, one of his prints and also a t-shirt to gift 
the governor with to say, here, this is who I am. This is what I do. I believe in what you are doing. This is what I'm all about. And so there's still an opportunity for his story to go into the Senate. You can and um, then we've got some other things happening in our own state of Arkansas as well. So I just believe that that was a door that has been cracked open that God is definitely going to use this kid with. Amen. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I can testify the truth. I can. Okay, let, let, okay. let her do it. Sorry. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's on a roll. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hey, watching hey, Andy. Say something? Andy, ne next time you do an interview, you should give your mom a day off. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. I take that correction. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, but you guys can, er, er, for the audience, you can see them in action every, was it Wednesday? Wednesday at 2.30. You guys yes. do a Facebook Live, and sometimes Andy shows um, painting, and sometimes you guys are talking about stuff, and it's just really a hoot. So... Where you we... in your gold gilding, Carolyn? What can you tell us what you do with your gold? It's um, gilded carriage art. And my whole business is based off of Psalm 139, verse 16, where there was a book written for you in heaven before there was ever a day. And the Lord had spoke. This is what came out of my life. Bust. Um, he just blew open the door for me on me being a scribe. And I have... I have taken classes in college that never should have been, that were calligraphy classes that never should have been. And I was in it, became the passion of my heart. And then truthfully, after the lie busting started, I began to see my part because Berlin was concerned about, you know, Carolyn having a life because I've been putting everything behind Andy for the past three years. And so my business started to really take off and it has everything to do with scribing. And um, so I had this great big piece of furniture and after my live bus, probably my third one, I thought, you know, I've always wanted to paint a mural of roses, a, a garden over big furniture pieces. Never did that before. Well, behind, I don't think you can see it, but it's right back here. It's a great big secretary, secretary <laughs> desk that I did that very thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm unleashed. And just last week too, um, I got another commission piece to do a pen and ink portrait of a ranch. And then they want that used as their logo and they want me to paint it on their big barn door. So things are getting bigger as far as that goes. And, and it, you know, I, I do it with pen and ink and pen has to do with scribing. I do painted journals, I do painted books and, and even started designing my own um, uh, pottery mugs of whom we use a local potter because when you sit down at a beautiful desk and you journal and you scribe, you have to have your, a mug for your tea, you know, and then I painted lamps to go on the, well, you can see that one right there going on top of the, you know, the desk. And so I, I do desks and accessories and, and all of this transpired through my life. It's like, I came alive. Berlin was concerned for me and for my identity away from Andy and so I got mine. I'm growing in it. Now I can get back behind him and learn to be quiet because, you know, I mean, I've been doing, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need we some more live busts than that. that. You know? But anyway, it's, <laughs> it's, we had to separate for me to get who I am, then to go back in so that this business can really be what it's supposed to be. And Berlin's going to take us there. Okay. Okay. Um, and I okay. think that, that that happens in um, all kinds of partnerships. You think that it's going to be 50% 50, 50 and 50%, but really, if the people aren't 100% themselves, uh -huh. they're not bringing everything to the table. So yeah. when you can be 100%, you can better support Andy and be that strength and that mm -hmm. foundation under yeah. you when you've got yourself put mm -hmm. together. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm really in awe. I really am in awe of your story at, at the, what is the word is acceleration at how yeah. far you come yeah. in such a short period of time. 
yes. in your mindset and in yeah. your productivity, in your identity, in your vision. It's all there. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's the been a that, tremendous journey. The thing that comes to mind is uh, my sister moved to Texas and she's like uh, from Washington. And she's like, uh, there's no wood furniture down here. There's no wood in Texas. And I'm just thinking, is there no, <laughs> not many. <laughs> and she, wood is like a, a scarcity in Texas. So I'm like, Carolyn, ship your furniture down to Texas because they don't have it, you know? <laughs> and the abundance in the north, like it's easy to find things on Facebook, right? But in the mm -hmm. south, mm -mm. <laughs> I would be happy to ship our things down to Texas, right, Andy? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. I miss that place. And so I just want to honor and thank you so much for creating Lie Busters. It's truly, it, it's just, it's changed us so much. And like you said, acceleration. So we honor and thank you very much for who you are and what you have done and, and walking this out as Jesus is walking it through you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's, we are all about empowering the powerful and Berlin here is the powerful. <laughs> yes, she so, is. You know, if it yes, were Berlin, it's, it's her vision. So we honor you Berlin for, for bringing us this story. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it, Jonathan? It's, it is. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, you might want to think about this, but I'd love to, I'd love to interview you guys on, uh, on our experience live busters. But what I'd love to do is that, uh, could you show us, I don't know if you have a workshop or we could, you could actually take the camera or the, 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 the uh, whatever you, your device and to walk us around and give us a little, could you sure. do that? Show us some of your stuff. <laughs> Sure, sure, we'll show yeah. you the, the studio in our breakfast nook right here. There's a whole story behind that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. um our studio is this breakfast nook, and I had to remove all the paint off of here and stick it all over here in boxes so that we could set up here. And yeah, we uh yeah, yeah, it's uh it's you know on on television, it's like if I just show this much, this is what it really looks like. But over here we've got stacks of paint because we don't have a studio really. And we have chairs out in the garage, but we would love it. That's something. Yeah. Well, you know, I, what I, what I, love, I would love a real, I would love a real kind of wonky walk around. So yeah. You 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 hold, you hold the laptop, you face it that way, and you do a wonky walk around. So yeah. I've got this over here, I got this over here, and Andy, yeah. you get to lead, and Mum, you can sit down in one of those beautiful chairs, and um, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but the angle I'd like to do is really to encourage people that their businesses can be unlocked um, through God and what he want, wants to do. Their ideas and their talents and their everything that's inside of them so that it can come out. And like you said, you know, you did college classes and calligraphy, like mm -hmm. he's been preparing you your whole life for this. He has. And, and, and that's the same for everyone. It's yes. Just, taking the scales off, like you said, yes. to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. You're right, exactly right. Yeah. I got a dog. Got a dog? He's the person. Yes, he's petting the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. Can we at least he's for this one, uh, can we just tip the camera down so we can see that uh, the thing behind you, the, the dresser with the flowers on it? There, oh, yeah. <coughs> Nice. Yeah. Is that, that was, amazing? That was the first big piece you did after Liba opened yeah. it up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's pretty big. It's probably um four by four by four. Mm -hmm. And you had been doing four note cards four. before. Just for yeah. comparison, you guys. She was yeah. note cards and diaries and things like that before. She did a lot yes. and did a big piece of furniture. Yeah, and then I'm going to paint the side of a barn. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It is. Oh. Amazing, right? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm a You're fun. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else you want to share, Andy, about your artwork or about the Libus process or your business or anything? Uh, sure. Yes. I want to talk about um, one of 
my work one of my chairs. Um, I kind of name them. I kind of name my chairs. One, I donated a chair from uh, where I was born at, uh, at Cook's Children. Cook's Children's Hospital in Fort Worth, Texas. Yes, and that's where that's where I was born. That's where I was washed to the hospital. I have some stuff from, um, from uh, I have, um, okay, let's get on the chair. Um, well, let's, okay, you were born with Down syndrome um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is why all the, all the, all the laboratory, laboratory, all of the effects of Down syndrome was I had, um, Liver disease, kidney, heart disease, respiratory, respiratory systems. I've been, I've been having, I've been having um, uh, respiratory problems when I was a baby, and it's been affecting my lungs. I, I couldn't breathe. Um, but we would drive by Cook Children's Hospital when we lived in Fort Worth, and you were three years old, and you looked at that building, and you said, "One day I'm going to go back there." And to, what did you say? I said to hear the sick. Race the dead and cast out devils, and that's where my mandate was birthed out. And so you wanted to do a chair to give back to Cook Children's, and so three yes, years ago you did a chair. Yes, I did. I did. Well, tell, um, tell about it. I'll be quiet. I just had a word about Texas for you. I didn't yeah. know you were born in Texas. I was. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a Cowboys fan, and I was a Raiders <laughs> fan. And uh, um, well, back in Texas. When um, I was talk, I was talking about the chair. I don't know chair. It's a big, awesome, big, awesome wagon chair. And the name of the chair was Joy. Like I say, whatever, what so what so whatever you sit in the chair will be joy. Will will be healed because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Seek the seek joy. If you seek joy, you seek strength from God Himself. So they took that chair and put it right outside the chapel. Right. So when people went there to, you know, find peace and, and whatnot, there, there the chair would be. And so mm -hmm. the news crew came and did a story on it. They did. Carol. Andy is getting Carol back Lane. to Cook's. Maybe yes, by Rob Evans. Yep. That was a good chair. Yes, it was. It <laughs> that kind of started everything off. That kicked yeah. everything off. Yeah. So that's from September from 2019. Wow. And wow. so, yeah, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. You guys are amazing. You just blow my socks off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to, you know, keep going with this journey and see mm -hmm. where God takes you. You know, it's yeah. well, there's nobody we would rather have than you, Berlin, because I told you mm -hmm. I, I would email her after a lie bus. Oh, my gosh, you're my best friend. You're my new best friend. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you can't sit so if you ever have any doubts about what you are doing, stop it. Because you are doing together. exactly what you should be doing. You know, I know how to talk of it. <laughs> go, let's go have a latte together, right? Yeah. Go your stuff. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> you know where we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. How you said that to Berlin about her being your best friend because we were talking about this in our group meeting on Wednesday night. And it's like um Livebusters is a flat structure because everybody's learning how to minister to each other. So the old church model was you have ministry team who minister to people in mm -hmm. the church. But now Livebusters is just people learning yeah. how to do it, ministering to each other. And what it does is it, it just builds intimacy at a very deep level and trust mm -hmm. in between people. So I live busted Berlin on stage in Sacramento, 2019. That's the first time I met Berlin. Wow. Oh, yeah. And we've been friends ever since. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it, 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 the, you go somewhere in the Holy Spirit you, together. You do. And yeah, you share that experience together and frankly it just has a lot more value than um small talk <laughs> you know so, so you can have a coffee with <laughs> isaiah 61 no all right problem. guys men you don't have to show off <laughs> but you can, you can keep your on about it you can keep yours on <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk about Berlin. Yes, focus on her. 
<laughs> Elena was talking about you guys. <laughs> I like it. It's good. Uh, it's good. It's about so it's like, okay, today I'm the hand, you're the itch, give it a scratch. But tomorrow you're the hand, I'm the itch, give it a scratch. Do you know yeah. what it's about the body of Christ ministering one to another? I love and I love in you sharing your story today with the audience, you're releasing your testimony, which carries the anointing to mm -hmm. bring hope. So I just know there are people watching this and mm -hmm. you feel hope rising in you because you know there's something in you that needs to come out and be expressed and manifest on this mm -hmm. earth that's going to change lives, just like Andy's chairs, just like your furniture, just like your barn door. That's transformation transformative work yeah yes thank you thank, thank you, you so much yes i'm so honored yeah very good. good well i think it's a you know the way god works it's a mutual blessing Absolutely. so you know andy and carolyn you are blessing berlin mm -hmm. and yeah. she by introducing you is blessing us and I guess we blessed you because we trained Berlin, who's ministered to you. So it all goes round. And at the end of the day, God gets glorified. We, no, we, yes. Well, as, as Andy, your favorite verse, you know, it's not who I live, but Christ who lives inside me. No, uh, I, yes, that's from Galatians 2 uh, 20. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought, I, I am not my own, I've been bought with a price. Mm -hmm. So actually, the God in Berlin. And the God in us and the God in you is doing a little dance. And everyone gets to see the different multifaceted facets of God. I love it. Yeah. I love, it. I, yeah. We get I love kingdom. You too. I, I think faith God. kingdom. Yeah. You do, Andy. You are an inspiration, definitely. And we don't want to um, have give miss the opportunity to let people know that they can get a picture of you with your no limits t-shirt on mm -hmm. and I'll put the, I'll put the link in the show notes. So um, people will, can get sure. that. Yes. And we thank you so much for helping on that. Ms. Berlin. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't used to have gray hair two weeks ago. <laughs> I tried it early. That's why you need a business coach. Uh, <laughs> I really had black hair until two weeks ago uh, when I had to try and do some technology. That's why I love oh, this. Good. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. I love you too. Thank you. thank you. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna put all of this together for a show or two parts or I don't know what else, but we'll we'll figure it out. We want to get it out to the to the peeps. And you guys, if you loved this, make sure you know there's so many things to do. There's go to Jonathan and Elena's Facebook group, you know, join their uh, network and all of the stuff, and you can get trained too to do this amazing mm -hmm. work. And um, Carolyn and, and Andy have their Facebook group when they do lives and you can get uh, plugged in over there. And then of course, go get Andy's uh, inspirational poster that says that, you know, he lives with no limits and you can too. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know, you can <laughs> right? join the spirit mm -hmm. Center business tribe over on Facebook too. There's just so many things. All of the links will be below and we will figure out how to, uh, or you will figure out how to get where you need to be to connect with all of us. So thank you guys so much. I am so, I had so much fun. This was really a lot of fun. Really, mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. And Jonathan. Oh, and Elena, so Oh, thank you. Oh, and there's Bill in the background. I saw you. Just <laughs> leave it out. Be real. I can ride by. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. Be myself. All right. So, Jonathan and Elena, thank you so much again for um, being willing to, you know, listen to me. I'm like, I've got this great client. You're gonna love her story. It's amazing. And you said, okay. So. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'm so honored. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Burden. I honor you. Thank you for being our uh, coach. It's so amazing. And uh, I will continue to fulfill my part. And so I will to fulfill my um, my purpose uh, while on earth. I will see you in the natural or the spiritual. And um, it's been, it's been 
so great. I just want to say thank you and I bless you. Oh, thank you, Andy. I bless you right back. You are such an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, I, I would love to, you know, we can chit chat all day, but um, I think we better wrap it up. Better land this plane. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Anything else, Jonathan and Elena, before we sign off? Uh, I don't know. How are we going to land the plane? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are you guys are going to do something together on the Experience Livebusters Facebook group, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll be in touch. I got your email. Okay. Okay. All right. In terms of landing the plane, yes. Andy, could you pray for everyone who's watching? Oh, that's yeah. a great idea. Yes. Father, uh, Father, I thank you for this group. I thank you that and uh, that you will like, uh, to continue to uh, touch touch the lives of people. Father, thank you for touching the lives of people who are watching in this group. I thank you for Berlin. Thank you to send a, send a blessing to them. Thank you, Father, for for what it is in you, Father, to, to what is your heart is on this. Thank you that your DNA is now resonating. And um, thank you for, thank you for being you. Thank you for being unlimited. I thank you for, again, whatever I speak, Father. I thank you that you would do this thing for people. It done it for, for me, it done it for Berlin. It done it for my mom. And I thank you, I believe, I believe from my heart that you will, you will do it again for your people. I thank you, Father. I thank you. I bless this group. I love them. I bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, honey. Amen. 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 I love that. Father's DNA resonating inside of us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no limits. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> and one more roar. <laughs> You know what I love is the fact there's like a two second time delay. So I do this and you're like this. And you're on. <laughs>